Okay, we are going to do another really quick tutorial for you. This is how we do handbrake. So this is what you need if you want to capture your DVDs. Um, now you see we have your Science of Miracles DVD in here and you know it automatically loads in DVD player. So we don't want to do that because it's accessing the disk and that's going to slow us down. So go ahead and make sure you have closed DVD player. Move it out of the way so I can see it. Make sure you've closed the DVD player. So that's all good. So now we'll bring up Handbrake, and I've already loaded it here. Uh, it's this nice icon down here that's the pineapple and the drink. You, it's kind of fun as far as that goes. Uh, so first, you need to pick a source. In this case, it's going to be our DVD. So you hit Source. You're going to find our disk. You see it's even labeled appropriately. I'm going to hit Open. Uh, we're going to try to scan anyways because I don't think this is going to be very copywritten. I'll double check things. Sometimes you may not be able to get a disc. It's kind of it will work or it won't work. It depends on the copy protection on the disc. Nine times out of ten it tends to work for me. And you see it took a minute to scan it. Sometimes it might take a little longer depending on the disc. And we got a couple things that for you to look at. Now you have presets here. I think for in general Let's do high profile. It'll give you a better quality of video uh, for what you're going to end up with. And you see, um, first of all, is this title. You got your sources, the DVD, of course. Your title. And this tells you all the videos that are on your DVD. So we see there's something that's 5905. We see there's something that's 4657. So in this case, let's presume this is going to be the feature of the thing. If you know more about what's on the DVD, you're going to know, OK, it's this, OK, it's that. But let's just presume. And you see you can select if you know you want Chapter 3 or something like that, you can select that as well. And tells you that you're getting 59 minutes over here on the right. And also your destination. Right now it's a set. It's automatically going to download into your movies. That's the name of it. I would maybe give it like an uh, underscore one or underscore two. Like say in this instance, when you know you have several things. If you're going to take your Dalton Abbey ones, you're going to be selecting numbers and say, you know, one, two, three. Hope they're in the right order. It might be a little difficult in that case. But movies should be a lot simpler. And in that case, um, we're going to... We got high profile. We know our destination is right. We're pretty sure this is the right video we want to use. Just hit start. It'll take a second to kind of spin up. And you see at the bottom we are starting to get some updates. And it's going to start coding away at that. And you just let it go. And now it tells us it's going to take about 15 minutes. It's going to go up and down depending uh, on the speed and everything. So just let that go. Walk away you're good to go. And you see at the top it takes a lot of your CPUs. You're not going to want to be doing a lot of other things, a lot of other things alongside this process happening. Uh, so this is a I'm going to go away from my computer for a little bit uh, sort of situation. So that should be everything you need to know about Handbrake.